Good evening. I have avoided making this video because I love this app so much. But TikTok has a problem. Rampant racism, pedophilia, homophobia, sexism, xenophobia, and exploitation. And it appears that unless you are fighting against any of it, TikTok is perfectly okay with all of it. Because they aren't fighting against the phobias, the pedophiles, or the people pretending to cook drugs. They're fighting against the people who are fighting against them. Let me tell you my story. Three, two, one. I'm threatening to do this for a hot minute now. I have. With all of the rampant community guidelines violations, I have been threatening to take all the banned videos that I have and put them in movie form. And so, that's exactly what I did. What you're about to see is an accumulation of 103, as of today, banned videos that I have had banned on TikTok. Some of them are funny. Some of them are righteous anger. Some of them are just simply designed to spread information. Every single one of them have been banned from TikTok. And now you're about to find out why. I did not do this to shame ByteDance and Oracle and the owners of this application. They make enough money without me they don't really need my help. No. What I did this for was to show you the flimsiness that is the community guidelines violations of the hottest social media application running today. And to show you that some of these videos did not deserve the fate that they got. Now, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you spread this movie around. It's going to enlighten you on into one man's journey on the hottest social media application around and how my voice being a content creator of color is sometimes silenced for the silliest asinine reasons. So, I would like for you to enjoy this movie, Banned from TikTok. Thank you for watching. This is a public apology on behalf of all black people. What is wrong with you, man? Who in the fuck let Keith Bob Marley fucking talk for the rest of us? What in the fuck am I apologizing to white people for? My melanated excellence? These earrings? The fuck am I apologizing for? What is any black person apologizing for? You need to stop. Okay? Because you one step away from d dancing for chicken. Please quit. Enough. Take your three-day-old dread ass the fuck that way. You want to apologize to white people for being you? Go ahead. But stop saying, on behalf of our black people, I would like to... Don't... No, you don't fucking speak for us. Fake bacon Jamaican. Fuck All black people thank Donald Trump. Negro, please. Your fucking dreadlocks are tied entirely too motherfucking tight. You must be out your motherfucking mind. You think any black person on this end of the motherfucking spectrum thanks that motherfucker. Herschel Walker thanks him. That goofy ass fucking uh, attorney general in, in Kentucky, he thanks him. Your goofy ass thanks him. Christian Walker thanks him. Fucking Candace Owens thinks ain't nobody thinking that motherfucker over here. Are you out your fucking mind? 
Yeah, you got a five-letter word for Donald Trump. We got a four-letter word. And I guarantee you, it ain't think. It ain't think. Nope. That motherfucker moved the rock and exposed the races we already knew was there. Black folks ain't stupid. Ain't nobody follow that motherfucker. Wouldn't follow into a fucking bathroom in my own fucking house. So from the real black folks, fuck Donald Trump. Fuck out of here. Here's something that pisses me the fuck off. And I'm going to say it as a black man to any other black man who is going to do this when it comes to Madam Vice President Kamala Harris. Enough with the motherfucking gatekeeping. Okay, enough. Whatever that woman did to get to where she is, I can guarantee fucking to you wasn't sleeping with Willie fucking Brown. OK, that's number one. Number two, even if she did, even if she's fucked Willie Brown, Jim Brown, Chris Brown, who the fuck ever, who the fuck are you to tell her what the fuck to do with her motherfucking body? I'm sick of motherfuckers like that. Get your fucking stuck up ass, hotep ass nose the fuck out of that woman's crotch. Let her be great. If you don't like her, take your stupid ass over there and twerk on the wall or something. The fuck off her nuts, bruh. I hope you fall on black guys, knock out every one of your teeth, and can't afford to fucking get them fixed. I hope you lose your job as a greeter at Walmart because she ain't smiling at anybody because you have no teeth. I hope the same day that this happens, your girlfriend leaves you for a guy with a, who's better in bed, has a bigger bank account, and can read poetry while you're singing this stupid shit. I hope when you go home, you find out that your mom and dad went out motherfucking hunting and brought home bison steaks and motherfucking deer jerky, and you can't eat any of it because your ass ain't got no fucking teeth, so you have to sip soup through a fucking straw. I hope then when you go upstairs, you find out that your little brother broke your motherfucking PS5 all over the fucking place, and you can no longer play Call of Fucking Duty. I hope when that fucking happens, that you go to your bed, your dog's pissed on it, and fucking rubbed his balls all over your motherfucking uh, pillow. I hope you get fucking pink eye. I hope that in turn fucking turns into you walking around with an eye patch, no teeth, and I hope you trip on something else and break your fucking ankle, stupid ass. Seriously, being completely honest right now, in all honesty, I seriously think black people are jealous of me. The <laughs> the black people are really bad people! And you keep fucking them. I instantly thought of Emmett Till the moment I saw this shit. I don't know why, but I did. Again, I have no problem with interracial relationships. Love is love. I don't care. But you really need to start doing a background check and some vetting on these motherfuckers before you start sleeping with them. That goes for any marginalized group, especially black folk. You need to vet these motherfuckers before you sleep with them. Her ass was happy than a motherfucker just bouncing on black jank like a motherfucker. Happy as shit. Boing, boing, boing. Soon as she get caught, the black people are really bad people. Look at her. Busted in a motherfucker. Now, if this boyfriend of hers was an irrational motherfucker, somebody could have got him to fuck up because her silly ass wants to dance on the dark side. You need to start vetting who you fuck. That's all I'm saying. Where I grew up, Snitches get stitches, and we still do that kind of shit. And who, pray tell, is giving out these mythical stitches? You? Your entire fucking heart pumps motherfucking flavor aid. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't, you ain't gonna stitch a motherfucking thing. You are the snitch. You literally are the snitch. You walk around with 911 fucking programmed in your fucking phone. Five black guys that come in singing harmony. Your ass like, oh, place. Hello, oh, police. The Negroes are singing. Hello, oh, police. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't threatening shit. Where I come from, snitches get stitches. You ain't gangsters moving silence. Your bitch ass is making videos. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna stitch videos. That's exactly what the fuck you're gonna do because you try to stitch mine. If you don't sit your weird looking ass the fuck down somewhere and shut the fuck up, fake ass deputy dog ass motherfucker. What in the unseasoned chicken is this shit? That's about $2.18 worth of wrong in the back of that fucking truck. $2.18. I can smell the, the chewing tobacco, the diesel fuel, the gun oil, the pre-diabetes, the lack of a fucking orgasm, the fucking Viagra, and the goddamn uh, uh, motorcycle leather off this fucking video. I can smell it. And then the, you get the G-tight wheel. I need you to never move. 
The next, I don't ever dance to rap again. Don't you ever fucking dance to a rap song again. Don't dance to rapping paper. Don't dance to rapping Rodney. Don't you ever fucking dance to a rap song again. And please, for the love of Rao, please stop putting Trump's head on Rambo's body all over y'all shit. It looks fucking ridiculous. I need y'all to j just, just stop. Not everybody in the community, the Hispanic and the African American community. Was there a point to this video? Was there a point? I knew exactly what he was talking about. You see, my mother, before she passed, would not have known how to work a computer. And my mother was 84 fucking years old. So, to reiterate, is there a point to what you're doing right now? Because it seems to me like you're playing into a stereotype. And if that's the case, I'm going to really need you to pack up and get the fuck off the planet. If you're going to be this literal about shit and play this role, you're embarrassing the rest of us. You can leave now. I can pass that bitch like stocking. Just you spend this holiday locket. Holy shit! It's Winthorpe Philip Trout as the third's fucking classmate at Harvard! It's Hockley! Hockley Joseph Morgan the fifth of the Kenny Bunkpot Morgans! Who got off of Daddy's yacht, which is currently sailing in the seas of Malta, with Buffy to tell us he's glad that the Native Americans got their land stolen, and who did they steal it from? Not realizing that he was riding the nuts of 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 his great 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 grandfather while this was going on. Thank you so much for this backward ass fucking history lesson, Hockley. Please do us all a favor. Take that ascot, shove it up your ass, and go away. Oh, that the chiefs of the tribes in Africa sold their people into slavery. So this dumbass woman sitting around thinking that there was a fucking African thrift store. Bolts just pull up. Yes, I understand. You would like to buy some large Negroes. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to get about big shit, big black books, couple of black female, maybe some of them black cheering. Okay. I will go ahead and sell them to you. What I would like to know is are you going to be paying with cash, check, a credit card. Well, hell, son, all we got is these shillings. I don't know. What is this shilling you're talking about? You know, shillings. We got a couple of little coins. I don't know if I can let them go at this price. These couple of shillings, as you call them. We're going to have to figure out something. How fucking stupid does that sound? Damn! Parents! I don't know why you black maggots keep doing this shit. Here's a guy that had a listened to a half of a speech by Malcolm X about white liberals and then decided to equate it with the fucking racist ass teacher and calling her a leftist. As if Malcolm X was somehow a part of the GOP. Malcolm said it himself. I'm neither a Democrat or a Republican. You don't know that because you never read the autobiography of Malcolm X and it fucking shows. But you're trying to get an attaboy from a group of people who, while they call us all kinds of racial names to our faces and in our comment section, they say the same fucking thing about your stupid ass. They just do it behind your back. Stop trying to make our civil rights leaders into your Republican icons because it doesn't exist. You would know that, but you don't. But if we stop talking about racism, it'll go away. I don't see color. I don't care if you're red or black or white or yellow or purple with polka dots or fucking alien. Morgan Freeman said. Well, remember when Martin Luther King talked at the GOP? Malcolm X said about white liberals. 
I can't even clap back at your simple fucking ass the way I want to because you got this Pollard-esque ass fucking app that'll protect you and go after my ass like I'm a lieutenant in the army and you just stopped me because you couldn't find my fucking driver's or you didn't see my license plate. Suck my fucking dick. Still failing new army fitness test while males pass easily. You know, I'm not really liked by military TikTok. And that's okay. But for right now, I'm going to defend my soldier, my fellow brothers and sisters in the uniform. Why is it always motherfuckers who couldn't pass shit always standing in judgment of some fucking body? Motherfucker, you couldn't pass the fucking ACFT today. If it was given to you, bitch, you wouldn't make it past the third fucking event. They would blow your ass up, gas you the fuck out, and you'd be walking around trying to go to the motherfucking aid station. Bitch, you couldn't pass the, the fucking old-fashioned APFT with three fucking events. You ain't making it past the fucking sit-up, let alone the two-mile fucking run. And I doubt you can do a fucking regular military-issued fucking push-up. Unless your ass is ready to put on the motherfucking uniform and do the job, shut the fuck up and sit your stupid ass down. And leave some gas for the rest of us to get to work, or your free money is... You know, had you just stayed on your little MAGA rant about gas prices, I would have just laughed and secretly remembered that you motherfuckers are the idiots that put gas in fucking uh, grocery bags about, I don't know, last week. I would have been like, ha ha ha, laughs and I didn't, I didn't fill up a gas bag. But you had to go with it because you're free money. Unemployment is shit that people pay into the moment they start working at these slave wage, wage having ass jobs. So no, these people aren't getting free money. They're getting money they've already paid out, given back to them. But then again, I remember you're the same idiots that believe that social security is free money too. Even though it's some shit that we get taken out of our fucking checks every fucking, every time we get paid. So I do got to ask though, do your corporate masters who also get corporate welfare that y'all ignore, do they use lube or Vaseline? Just asking. I have never hated four more people as much as I hate you guys today. I sincerely hope that all of you end up with the drizzling ships. I hope when you guys get ready to do your smear swap, you all discover that you all have stomach bugs and you all get the drizzling shits. I hope it knocks you fuckers out for days. I hope when it's finally done, your asshole look like uh, the fucking thing from Alien, the face hugger shit from Alien. I do. I have never hoped that four people's cars get repossessed more than I hope yours do. I hope all of you fall down the same flight of stairs, crack your motherfucking chins on the same step, and your jaw meat just gets fucking unloose. That way you can't even say, run your house checks. I hope it all, I hope everything bad that has ever happened to a human being happens to you. Trump is coming. Yeah, Trump. You ain't listened to a single solitary way that sounded, did you? Sounded cool in your brain, didn't it? Then you put it on video. You a nasty motherfucker. TikTok is so full of shit, I truly believe that all the creators of this fucking app have brown eyes. So let me try this again. My Jewish followers, do you have a problem with a person like fucking Marjorie Taylor Greene comparing the Holocaust to a mask? I have a problem when they compare mandates to slavery. It makes me want to physically put foot to ass. Do you have a problem with these people comparing one thing to another? And I, TikTok, what the fuck, man? That was an educational ass question. And y'all bust out with, we're going to mute it. Because you heard the N word? And not that N-word, the other N-word. Come on, man. I have heard motherfuckers using a song with the N-word in it. It's awful funny that Donald Trump got the vaccine. But I'm pretty sure a letter of the alphabet told you not to. You fake bacon armchair ass scientists don't know shit. And you completely missed the entirety of reason of the Hunger Games. 
Cadmus would put a fucking arrow in all of your faces. We know that isn't your stupid ass whistling. And why in the fuck are you all looking up? Can't you people go one day without this level of fuckery? I hate that we have to share the air the trees make. Dicks. Sure that we could probably use some of those big cruise ships and send them back. You better hope and pray to whatever God you believe in that that's a scenario that never fucking happens. Because after we take all of our money, after we take all of our intellectual property, after we pack up everything that makes this fucking economy go, because the economy is diverse, whether you want to like, whether you like it or not. After all of the marginalized groups that you also fuck with leave, after we pack up our native brothers and sisters, and because you won't be abusing them while we're not here, after all of our allies say, fuck this shit, I'm out. This fucking country would be one of them third world countries that Donald Trump was shitting on. This bitch would fold up like an origami swan. And you can sit up and be mountain man if the fuck if you want to, but it's going to look a whole lot like Mad Max slash fucking Walking Dead. Bitch, you better not ever let that shit fly out your mouth and make it true. Because you'd be fucked if it does. Oh, you don't like me? That's fine. Can we stop this shit? Once you go black, we don't want you back. You go date a white guy, you use a bad winch. You know why women go to different men and for what reasons? It's quite simple. Because no woman wants a dick who acts like a dick all the damn time, has bad dick, with, a, with little dick energy. She might want to deal with somebody who has better dick and isn't a dick every fucking time she sees him. But you wouldn't know anything about that because you're too dickish to understand your own dickish, dickishness. And then you are mad when she finds better dick than your dick. What do you do? Tell her she jumps on dicks. When in actuality, she just got rid of the one dumbass dick that wasn't doing dick for her. Dickhead. So I live in Colorado. Uh, I'm not wearing a mask. Our governor. I have determined, since now this is the new TikTok thing, don't wear the mask, don't take the injection, freedom! Since y'all have decided to do this shit, I have decided that not only am I going to continue to wear a mask even though I'm fully vaccinated, I'm getting masked with Bane's face, with a Bane mask, so I can put it over my motherfucking shit. So y'all can understand exactly what the fuck I'm on. My governor, our governor did the same fucking thing. Don't wear the mask, don't get this freedom. No, sorry. I will be wearing one, and so will my family. Because we don't trust you fucking people. We just don't. But understand this, since y'all are declaring shit on TikTok, let me declare something as well. If you or your crotch goblins come anywhere near me, don't believe in the six feet, and start coughing, I promise you, I will Bruce Lee enter the dragon, kick the dog shit out of you. I am not joking. Straight up. No. <laughs> Is there a better door around here, maybe? You know, for a motherfucker who I'm pretty sure probably just started feeling good about himself to shit on plus size women when your ass has weight problems is kind of fucking a little bit hypocritical, don't you fucking think? So somehow this is supposed to be funny. This is going to make the girls want you. No, they're not. Plus size or otherwise. You know why? Because you have an ugly fucking soul. You couldn't just live in your own little small, so low self-esteem having ass. No, you rather shit on other people with weight problems to make yourself feel better while you're looking for a girlfriend. You will never find one because you are a superficial asshole who probably doesn't have the equipment to please a plus size woman in the first place. Sit your dumb ass down and shut the fuck up. I'm especially honored to share the stage with Brittany but y'all want to talk about Joe Biden. Really? Joe Biden is the motherfucking problem? Really? He's the fucking pedophile? From the party that seems to be filled with a bunch of fucking pedophiles? Y'all want to go after Joe Biden? Really? Even the people you motherfuckers think are great Americans... 
This is their fucking legacy. I am not even a fucking fan of Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. But for a party and a group of people who seem to love them some pedophiles, I think the majority of you motherfuckers need to sit down and shit your bitch ass all the way the fuck up. Where I have sometimes the worst case of pubic lice in video form ever. And I always have to deal with these dumb motherfuckers individually. So today y'all getting a two for one, starting with this fucking action Bronson off a wish ass motherfucker right here. I don't give a fuck if your pronouns are cock and balls because I'm pretty sure you haven't seen your cock and balls in many fucking moons, okay? You need to find some fucking business quickly. You fucking incel by way of weight problems, get the fuck off my dick. And as for this motherfucker, Shouldn't you be breaking up a motherfucking uh, break-in at Aunt B's house for cherry pies there, Barney fucking Fife? The fuck is the matter with both of y'all? You two motherfuckers don't make no damn sense. Y'all are the loneliest, uneducated-ass motherfuckers I've ever seen in my fucking life. Both of y'all try to be comedians, and neither one of y'all are funny enough for shit. I'm gonna need both of y'all to get some business and get off my jank. Okay. You fucked up. You shaped your motherfucking face to say that shit in front of a fucking camera. You fucked up. Black folks aren't sufficiently patriotic. Black folks don't show enough fucking uh, uh, affection to the people who died in the fucking Civil War to free them. Hold the fuck on, because you, you have fucking pissed me off. Motherfucker, this is my goddamn uniform. My old uniform. Last name. Deployment patch from Afghanistan. My motherfucking rank, U.S. Army. For you to shape your fucking face and say some bullshit like that when my father has fought in World War II, my uncle has fought in fucking Vietnam, two of my cousins have fought in a fucking war, I've deployed to a fucking war. For you to talk about how we're not fucking more, we're not patriotic, fuck you. When you can stand in our fucking shoes, then you can talk about us, bitch. So you really thought you did something there, didn't you, sis? I named one black guy that owned a slave. I've conquered all of slavery history. Didn't you, sis? While your stupid ass is standing there with that dumb ass hat on, I'm pretty sure you haven't served in shit, sis. And then you want to come after a black woman for having boundaries and your bitch ass can't fucking handle them, can you, sis? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like me calling you, sis? Guess what? I don't give a fuck. Since you're not going to fucking uh, respect her boundaries, I'm not going to respect yours. That still doesn't fucking negate slavery, sis. You found one black man that owned a slave. That doesn't negate the rest of the white men that did, sis. You can hide from all the, uh, hide from the fucking history all you fucking want, sis, and standing in front of that dumb ass don't tread on me flag. Now I'm treading on your motherfucking feelings. How about that, sis? Shave your fucking face. You look stupid, sis. That streak ended on January 6th. I was called a I was called a First off, in the race to be, which is more offensive, colonizer or nyah, I think nyah just won. Because you never see a group of Black Lives Matter protesters rolling up on the police yelling out colonizer to them. Just throwing it out there. And two, you ever notice that? Where four or more angry white men are gathered for Donald Trump? Nah, we'll be there. Here this man just said it. 39 years of his life has never been called nah to his face. January 6th, when he's trying to protect our elected leaders from the angry Mongol horde, the MAGA Mongol horde, who are trying to overturn an election for Donald Trump, what does he get? Nah. Several times. Really? But they're not racist. I mean, according to them, it's not about black or white. But nah is there. Braids in your hairstylist cannot boo boo. You know you wrong for that. You have been getting your ass dragged for filth for months now, because you are literally example number one, a patient zero case study of cultural fucking appropriation. Everything you're doing, every fucking thing you're doing, braids, clapping, okay, I'm calling the girl, is what you believe black women are. Every fucking negative stereotype. That's that bullshit. That's why you're getting dragged. Because you are in, you're fucking it up. And I know the dude next to you is going to have a fucking problem 
Let me go ahead and address him. Let me just go ahead and address him. You're embarrassing the rest of us. I don't give a fuck that you're in an interracial relationship, but for fuck's sake, dude, you're going to be a stereotype and you're going to go get a stereotypical white woman? The fuck is wrong with you? Fucking do better. Fuck out. Edges. Don't be mad because my man can pull all of my baby hair in my... I'm going to say this one more time. I don't care how many black janks you jump on. You cannot get fucking black by injection. Stop it or movie that you cannot watch to this day because one of the main stars did something unfor- This unshaven horse cock right here. This fucking bag of fuck knuckles right here. This unmitigated anal bleaching bastard right here. This motherfucker. Let me tell you about him. Thanks to Kevin Spacey's untrained rhinoceros asshole and Brian Singer's disgusting fuck ass, I can't enjoy this anymore. My One of my favorite films of all time. I walk around the house every once in a while going, lock down my guys, I show you. But watch it? With those two motherfuckers involved? Fuck no! Yeah. I hood in the water. I don't know what the fuck is going to take for motherfuckers to understand that your self-esteem does not mean all of this shit. Like, I get it. You might not like your motherfucking self, but fuck, what the fuck? Whose mans is this? What kind of embarrassing fucking nah shit is this? What is that? Every day, man. Every motherfucking day. Every day on some level of social media, you see the Harriet Tubman rejects. The ones that she would have fucking left. Every fucking day, man. It's like the damn expendables in this motherfucker. A hood in the water. You could have left this shit in drafts, motherfucker. Sit your ass down. Hey, hey. If you wasn't born in the 1800s, stop. I need you to shut the fuck up. I need you to go to the doctor and get a prescription for shut the fuck up. Then I need you to go to a pharmacy that sells cheap rate prescription shut the fuck up because I know your punk ass is on Medicaid. Then I'm going to need you to go home and take three of them pills a day, like the bottle says, and shut the fuck up. If you ain't born in 1800, stop talking about motherfucker. We still got people walking around here waving a fucking Confederate fucking flag. But you gonna tell black folks not to talk about fucking slavery? And of course, it would be swap meat gold mouth. If you are embarrassed, I was about to say you embarrassing us, but you're not. You're fucking not. You are the. Mid midday entertainment in the Cunesian multiplex. Shut the fuck up. First off, who the fuck are you? Secondly, when the fuck did I start answering to you? My father's been dead since 1998, and I've been out of the army since January. I don't answer to anybody. And thirdly, what the fuck makes you think I owe you an uh, uh, explanation on exactly what I did or did not say to somebody who made a fucking comment? Me and this motherfucker could have been talking for days. I could have said something offline. You know what? I don't fucking owe you shit. What the fuck is it with you entitled ass white people coming over here to expecting this particular black person to give you an explanation on some shit because you just demanded shaft, balls, in your mouth. Get the fuck out of here. Apparently, y'all motherfuckers didn't get the message. Bitch, this is not 1956. I don't have to, y'all yeah, are balls. When the fuck you say so? I'm going to need you to take your ass over there. Fuck out my face. Being the only alpha male on TikTok is braver than being in the military. Whose mans is this? Son, your teeth are crooked. Why does your shit look like Tetris? Alpha men don't have Tetris teeth. And then you rocking the hat backwards. Didn't that style go out when Marky Mark fucked it up? And you sitting in your mama's kid Sorrento. You ain't an alpha shit. 
Your na- your your name could literally be Aaron Aronson. And you could line up amongst a bunch of fucking people by alphabetical order and you're still not the fucking first. You ain't alpha? You are a triple decker sandwich of lame assholes. Sit your stupid ass down. If your ego and, and you pissing on your balls because your dick is so small requires you to put your hands on a woman, you are a straight bitch. I said it. I ain't taking it to fuck back. Straight up puss eye, which is plural of pussy. The gentleman on the other end of that line making this fucking threat to this woman is a bitch. I don't care if you're black, white, Latino, Asian. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. If your fucking ego is so fucking fragile that the only way you can get your jollies and manliness off is to put your fucking hands on a woman, you are a bitch. She, sweetheart, please use this sound. Please do edit. Make sure he can see this. I called him a bitch. I wish. I'm especially honored to share the stage with Brittany. And Jer- but y'all want to talk about Joe Biden. Really? Joe Biden is the motherfucking problem? Really? He's the fucking pedophile? From the party that seems to be filled with a bunch of fucking pedophiles? Y'all want to go after Joe Biden? Really? Even the people you motherfuckers think are great Americans. This is their fucking legacy. I am not even a fucking fan of Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. But for a party and a group of people who seem to love them some pedophiles, I think the majority of you motherfuckers need to sit down and shit your bitch ass all the way the fuck up. Come here. Come here, dog. There's a reason over the past four and a half years we have started to literally look at a certain segment of American society as soulless human beings. I love dogs. I have a dog now. One of my closest friends. Loved him my whole life. So I can understand what the Bidens are going through with the loss of a beloved animal like Jim. Not you. With your fake ass McLovin fucking mustache and that bullshit ass Spencer's hat, you decided to make a fucking dementia joke. At, probably because you're the one of the people that didn't vote for him, but you voted for the guy who wears the pins and shits on himself, who has never owned an animal. Ever. But that's okay. All you're doing is proving our point. You people are soulless. And there's a reason we cannot stand you. And it goes far beyond politics. We just realize how shitty human beings you truly are. Hey, oi. we back the blue. Yeah, that's true. Did you back them when they arrested you? Hey, hood, I did the crime, and I backed the blue. They put me in the back of the blue squad car. That true. With the amount of people that have been dunking on your fucking head for your comically stereotypical attitude and your <laughs> even more hilariously fucking stereotypically Trumpish attitude, I would have thought after being arrested by the, hey, hood, I bagged the blue. They fingerprinted me. I would think that you would have caught the fucking hint and found a different shtick. I really thought you would have, but you haven't. So back that. Hood. <laughs> Wait, you were serious with that? So to reiterate, since apparently when I bring this shit up, I've also all of a sudden cast my line with this delicious race bait and races start popping the fuck up. If we don't say shit about race, this bitch gonna disappear? That ain't even blackface, that's grayface. This bitch out here mimicking the gargoyles from the Disney cartoon. 
out here looking like uh, Goliath, and I'm not supposed to say a motherfucking thing. She out here painted herself to look like a fucking salamander or a catfish at the bottom of, of Lake What the Fuck, and I'm not supposed to say any motherfucking thing, else I'm throwing out race bait and the racists will get attracted. Word, for real. This bitch out here looking like pure shale from the Earth's crust, but I'm not supposed to say a fucking thing. Fuck out of my face. ...that someone decided to whip up. Rape sexual, only... This video is exactly why I say we need to go back to the herb system. Because herbs have gotten out of motherfucking hand. The fact that somebody took the time to create this fucking flag and a meaning behind it and then put the shit on Twitter, which I got my problems with Twitter, but I'll talk about them later. Confidently, chest all out, nuts out the, on the table, shows that somebody should have walked right past with a sledgehammer and smacked them goddamn nuts off the table. And then while he's recovering from that, give him a nice uppercut to the jaw meat. Gentlemen, if this is your mindset, if this is how you think sex is supposed to go, I suggest you get really in touch with a whole fucking pack of tube socks and coconut oil because you do not deserve to touch a woman in this life or the next. Whose fucking mans is this? That's the first incident I've seen where mega people fucking with Biden people. I see what your lonesome dove ass just fucking did. You tried to turn this into politics, NOLA motherfucker. I use MAGA because MAGA stands for I can do whatever the fuck I want and get away with it, freedom. Ain't got shit to do with whether or not that woman... How the fuck do you know she voted for Biden? Oh, I know. You think because black folks supported Biden, we're all... I mean, voted for Biden, we all support Biden. No, what I mean was, since you didn't get the fucking meaning of the goddamn video, is if you don't control your little motherfucking child, he's going to get Spartan kicked in the fucking chest and have his whole fucking chest caved the fuck in. Y'all be signing up for this shit. It'd be 1-800-sign-up-for-this-dragging. What the fuck? Ain't nobody got time for politics when it comes to fucking human decency. And your fucking ass would know that if you wasn't out here looking like Tabacky Road. Man, if you don't sit down some fucking way and shut the fuck up and stop duetting videos if you don't want to hear me, ass. Twin brother. And he was taken out of his bed abruptly last Saturday by a black man. I mean this with all disrespect. I fucking hate you people. I hate you. This came from the WFLA.com website. Darian Brown, the killer of this young child, has been arrested and is now facing capital murder charges. But you didn't do any fucking research, did you? You and this stupid ass woman that fucking you duetted this video with, y'all didn't do any motherfucking research. But you tried to spread and stoke racial fucking fears. This child is going to get justice. And you already knew this. But again, y'all are the motherfuckers that call yourselves pro-life. You're not pro-life, you're pro-fucking fetus. And you are not about fucking saving the children, you're about using them and exploiting them for your own fucking selfish goddamn needs. I genuinely hate you fucking people. You soulless bastards. You obviously must have me mixed up with somebody who gives a fuck. I don't give a fuck about their fucking opinions. The people you and this other idiot over here or trying to fucking assuage and, and make them feel good, use their fucking four-year-old's death to try to pass off some sort of fucking racial fear shit. They did that. And here you are, you and this other idiot with Captain Save Em No fucking capes on. So understand, I'm no longer playing nice with these fucking people. You can do yourself a fucking favor and skip the fuck on over there and dance for them motherfuckers over this area. Because if I throw a rock at they motherfucking ass and your ass is in the way, I'm hitting you too. I don't play that bullshit. Over here, I don't give a fuck about their fucking opinions. Their opinions all fucking suck. They're all a bunch of soulless ass goddamn human beings. And while you're sitting over here trying to fucking uh, put salve on their fucking uh, uh, feelings, they're using four-year-olds to pass off racial fears. And if you're too silly to understand that shit, perhaps I'm the wrong fucking person for you. White people, how are you guys doing today? I'm sorry that there are people that are... Oh, look. We have another one that's off the plantation, bro. Trying to audition to be the next Candace Owens or Christian Walker, huh? One of the good ones, isn't it? Sitting here assuaging fucking white folks' feelings because people are calling them racist and they know it's bothering you. Here's a question. If they're not racist, what difference does it fucking make? 
if somebody walks up in front of them and calls them a colonizer and they don't have a colonizer's mentality or what they're called racist and they're not racist, why did that bother them? Why do they need someone like you who was fresh off of fucking Tunisian Airlines, first class, didn't you? Got a little bit of that watermelon while you were there. Why do they need you to fucking assuage their fucking feelings if they aren't actually having any of these feelings in the first place? I get it. That's one of those hard questions you don't want to answer. And that's fine. Go ahead and continue to be one of the good ones. That's exactly why I'd rather be one of the bad ones. The immortal words of no Vaseline. Goddamn, I'm glad y'all set it off. Used to be hard. Now, now you're just wet and soft. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Cat for Trump and his 13.9 thousand followers who can fuck themselves because they believe what this idiot believes. Cat for Trump here is really upset because he doesn't understand the concept of the oppression Olympics, which is basically, since I'm going to break it all the way to fuck down for his little ignorant ass, and that witness protection beard. Bitch, what you? What did you do to have the fucking FBI send you someplace so you can grow that shit on your goddamn face? I don't like your face. So let me break it all the way to fuck down for you when I say oppression Olympics. White folks have been trying to find a way to be uh, uh, persecuted and being racist against for as long as I've been on this app and probably longer. That's why you guys are always in Modern Warriors fucking uh, comments talking about, I'm not a colonizer, you're being racist, charge me. Y'all want to be oppressed. Hence, the oppression Olympics. Because you believe that the greatest form of racism in America today is white racism or black racism against me because I'm white and I own the world's worst cover-up beard. Man, you fucked your face up, didn't you? You grew that shit just so that somebody wouldn't notice that you probably got your jaw cracked and you got like scars and shit underneath that shit. But anyway, that's what I meant by oppression Olympics there. Cap, or I'm sorry, Rambo the snowman. So the motherfucker that's walking around in the woods looking like, uh, what's that damn Olaf? Looking like an Olaf doll, but you got an AK-47 and that fucking beard. Anyway, he also didn't understand the anti-white racism equation that I gave him. And I actually gave it to him in, in a, it's it literally, it's a plus, but he doesn't understand it. I guess math is too hard for a person who probably dropped out just to bang his head up against rocks so he could break them. So he doesn't understand the concept of prejudice plus power equals racism. He just thinks if I called his ass a goddamn bearded saltine, he's all of a sudden the victim of real racism. No, my friend, you are not. You cannot possibly experience any sort of racism whatsoever. You can experience a whole lot of black folks telling you, yeah, we don't want your ass to fuck on. Get out of here because you snitched on somebody with that fucking witness protection beard. But you cannot be this. You can be discriminated against based on the fact that you have that beard. You cannot be discriminated against because you're white. Sorry, doesn't work that way. The system was put in place so that you can succeed. So if you're not, is it really racism or is it just you're a lazy dick? So, count for Trump, Rambo the snowman. I hope this educational fucking video has helped you. And if not, you can still eat a jank. I'd like to take y'all down here to the creek. Hold you under to the bubble stop. I guess that's now the answer to who would Jesus drown, huh? I wish you guys would admit that your faith has absolutely nothing to do with, with Christ's love. And has a lot to do with the fact that it might, your religion, much like your guns, make you feel superior. Because this person believes in that sky father and you believe in this sky father. You seem to believe that your God is better. It's funny. So here you are talking about drowning people to make them get them closer to God's love. Not very Christ-like, is it? You like using this shit as a cudgel. You like to beat people upside the fucking head with it. Anybody who doesn't agree with what you agree with, you get to pull your faith out and smack them upside the fucking head. That's why you guys never read the fucking Bible. Y'all don't know what the fuck's in it. Y'all just like having the power over other people. I wish you guys would just go ahead and admit this shit so we can go back and cussing your ass the fuck out and ignoring you like we should have done in the first fucking place. Who would Jesus drown? Hmm. Every fucking day there is a motherfucker just like you running around here trying your gosh damnedest to be oppressed to feel special to feel like we should feel sorry for you every fucking 
day. And every fucking day, people like me have to remind you that you don't get a chance to try to enter the oppression Olympics. Number one, because it does not exist. And number two, because your funky ass is a white man. Let me give you an equation. Call this the anti-white racism equation. You ready? The equal is racism. The equation is this. Prejudice plus power. The day you can find me something that you cannot do as a white man, and please don't give me the standard issue, join our HBCU, uh, join a black fraternity, BET, don't give me any of that at all. Because then you're just retreading bullshit that the other soon-to-be, wannabe, oppressed white men have said. Just stop. The day you can give me an, an, an example of something you personally cannot do because of the color of your skin is the day the rest of us will sit and go so continue we would like to hear this until such time shut the fuck up we get tired bone weary Mahalia Jackson old rugged cross tired of having to stop the flow of fucking progress to fucking assuage your egos we get tired of it and every video i've made up until today has been nice about that but now i no longer need to be please study the anti-white racism equation it's called the anti-white racism equation racism is prejudice plus power okay you went after that Asian woman for making a video and you stood up proudly with your Webster's Dictionary of Racism, not realizing that there's nothing on this earth you cannot do because you're a white man. Live fucking with you. As far as your fucking stats, you can stand your ass over there. Dancing traffic in black clothes at night. I'd no longer, I am no longer being nice or dealing with you fucking people as if I ever fucking did. I watched two fucking white women try to weaponize the death of a five-year-old yesterday. And when I fucking voiced my displeasure in the most harshest terms possible, they reported it as harassment and bullying. So at this point, I, I am being fucking disrespectful to y'all from this point fucking forward. You are not a man of God. You just like using your fucking uh, gun the same way you, you like using your religion to bash other fucking people. The moment you said Chicago, again, I turned I turn the fuck off. I'm not fucking with y'all anymore as if I ever fucking did. And knowing any other sane person would do the exact same fucking thing. So you can pull up all the stats from Breitbart and Newsmax the fuck you want. Fuck you and your motherfucking stats. How about that? I'm being disrespectful at this point because you motherfuckers, we are tired of having y'all in the goddamn conversation. So the only way to get y'all out is to cuss you out. The LGBT community is working so fast, so hard, and so feverishly. For clarification, I want all the taxes. I want the churches taxed. And I want, I want it to start with Greg Locke's church. Fuck him. Fuck his pants. Fuck his dumb ass shoes that he wears. Fuck his pulpit. Fuck the microphone that he walks around carrying it. Fuck the seats in his congregation. Fuck the people in those seats in that congregation. Fuck the, the church building that he has to fucking spread this bullshit to his goddamn congregation. If you want to stand your ass and talk about political issues, Greg, get your motherfucking ass in it. Come into the circle. Come on in. And let us all have a piece of that ass. Let us all tell you exactly how the fuck we feel about you. Face to face. Not on some internet bullshit. I want to be able to stand you in your motherfucking, right in your fucking face. Nose to nose and tell you, fuck you. Fuck your house. Fuck your shoes. Fuck your car. Fuck the car that you drive to get to fucking church. Fuck everything about your punk ass. Fuck you in the face twice with a stiff jank covered in fuck you sauce. Uh, August 7th, the lions roar. We'll be heard. We are marching every if y'all plan on doing the same shit y'all did on January 6th, every single one of y'all by the end of the day should end up in Guantanamo. Y'all are y'all Qaeda. That's exactly what the fuck y'all are. Donald Trump didn't gas y'all motherfucking heads to believe that it's perfectly okay to storm capitals, to change fucking election cycles, to get your fucking way. You snowflake ass motherfuckers. If I was Joe Biden, every single one of y'all to show up 
to a fucking state capital would get federal insurrection or terrorist organization charges. And every fucking one of y'all would end up in goddamn Guantanamo. This is what they should have done with the motherfuckers from January 6th. Fuck we giving them trials and shit for. We know what the fuck they did there on camera. Throw their ass in Guantanamo. Give them some rendition. See how the fuck they like that shit. If I was Biden, every time y'all y'all be buried underneath the Supermax. Fuck out of here. I've got a crazy thought. Why don't you try making actual content that took talent and imagination? Why is it always the motherfuckers that look like a six foot bag of turkey sandwiches always got to say some shit? Aunt Karen makes original content. That's why she says the devil work hard, but we work harder. If you dumb motherfuckers wasn't out here doing stupid shit, she'd still be making original fucking content. Meanwhile, your fucking Steve Rogers, Captain America, the lean years, lean stripper years looking asses just come across her shit. Now you want to talk shit. She does make original content. Maybe you dumb motherfuckers should stop fucking doing stupid shit. Fucking symmetrical square head having ass. I swear, the caucasity of the fuckery and the jackassery is getting too goddamn high. Man, take your fucking eight foot of fucking white tortilla shells looking ass on some fucking way. This comment. Right here. Is the Leonardo da Vinci's Michelangelo of stupid ass fucking comments I've heard since I've been on TikTok. The dumbest. Because I'm going to go ahead and unroll a little secret. Since we're talking about this. You don't give a fuck about aborted black babies. You don't give a fuck about black on black crime. You don't. What you like to be able to do is much like Tony Stark says, I am Iron Man, or Captain Marvel says, Shazam. It's your code word. It's your catchphrase. Soon as anybody wants to talk about racism, black on black crime, aborted babies. You don't give a fuck. It's your check lips in real motherfucking time. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because, and let me reiterate for again, you don't give a fuck about black on black crime or aborted black babies. You don't. It's your way of dodging a really serious conversation. I've noticed that white folks that think just like you happen to do that a lot. And then you have your fellow Cunesians who actually back y'all the fuck up. Them disgraceful ass black folks. The good ones. So let me tell you, since you actually made this comment to the wrong Negro at the wrong time on the wrong day, let me explain this to you one more fucking time, shall I? The moment you start talking about black on black crime, I'm going to bring up every school shooting I've ever heard of. Every mass shooting I've ever heard of. All of them. And I'm going to make you explain all of them. The moment you start talking about aborted black babies, I'm going to ask you, did you get that out of that big book of bad ideas? Are you a woman? Can you push a baby out? Oh, but you don't give a fuck, do you? See, I've had it up to here with this level of bullshit from y'all. I have. I have completely said, you know what? Why the fuck do we have to listen to these people? Consider the fact that y'all don't give two flying fucks about black on black crime or aborted black babies. Why the fuck do we have to listen to you? So, until you can push a child out of your body, a.k.a. a woman's right to choose, or until you're ready to fucking deal with the fucking problem of gun violence, a.k.a. white on white crime, black on black crime, until you're ready to do that, shut the fuck up. Hey, y'all, this is Thomas the Villain Bishop, um, host of the Enemy of the State podcast and all around TikTok flamethrower. I thank you guys so much for following me in this journey as far as you have. If you would like to support me financially, I also have a Patreon. It is patreon.com slash Thomas the Villain Bishop. If you can, donate what you can. I greatly appreciate anything that you'll be able to give. 
and just know that it is going to a worthy cause, keeping the Villains Guild afloat and making sure that I'm able to bring you quality podcasts and things of that nature. So look up patreon.com slash Thomas the Villain Bishop. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. This gentleman is somebody I like to call Paulie Half Nuts, a.k.a. the scourge of the fucking Walmart in Lincoln, Nebraska. He heard some people speaking Spanish. He didn't like it. So he decides to go off on the woman. And then he decides to inform her, you know, people like you go bye-bye. Then when a gentleman walks up and says, hey, man, stop calling that girl a liar. Stop calling that girl a liar. He decides to tell him, yeah, you know, I was LAPD firefighter and everything. And I trained Chuck Liddell. And da 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 Now all of a sudden he wants to be an MMA fighter and challenge this guy out to an outside fight. Let me explain something to you. I'm not going to be intelligent for a few seconds. I'm about to be a guy who has survived street fights. Let me explain something to you. In the immortal words of Alonzo from Training Day, you want to go to jail, you want to go home. If you challenge somebody with that bullshit MMA background shit and you don't hit that motherfucker with something, you out of your fucking mind. The dude would have said that shit to me and I'd have cracked his ass in the mouth with a Dell computer, a DVD case, or a pink BMX bike. The fuck out of here. You don't know. You don't know whether or not this motherfucker's telling the truth. And you not have the fucking opportunity to risk it. When I was growing up, I was told a fair fight is whoever gets to the fucking brick of the rock first. When, I, when my soldiers would go on the motherfucking range and we'd be sitting down talking afterwards and they'd be talking about combat training after all the shooting, I would tell them, if you are trying, you ain't got no weapon. This motherfucker ain't got no weapon, but he got a knife. He's coming at you with a knife. That is not the time to start thinking about triangle chokes. That's the time to kick him in his balls and keep kicking him in his dick and balls until that motherfucker falls. And then you can choke him the fuck out or whatever. Because you're trying to go home. If it's left up to, it's either that motherfucker going on or you're going on. Fuck out of here with a fair fight. He got a knife. If this motherfucker's running off the mouth talking about all the people, I'd have choked out Brock Lesnar. You won't have a chance to choke me out. You will not. As soon as you turn your motherfucking back, I'm hitting you with an entire goddamn display case in Walmart. You out your fucking mind. Especially he's a fucking out-and-out goddamn racist? Nah. Nah. Fair fight. Fuck you. That's not the time. I'm going to hit you with the Marcus or Queensberry rules. Shit. It's all fun and games until that motherfucker put your ass in some shit, snap your goddamn neck, and now all of a sudden it's slow singing and fire bringing at your family house. You out your fucking mind. Uh, nah. Nah. I've been the motherfucker fighting two on ones and three on ones. I wasn't sitting around talking, I'm gonna put you in the Kamara lot. Nope. Whatever I can get my fucking hands on, somebody's gonna get a concussion. I'm using these. And then I'm hitting your ass whatever the fuck I can get my goddamn hands on because I'm trying to go home. Y'all better quit that bullshit challenging motherfuckers to a fight because you're going to fuck around and find out how hard a, a can of tuna is and what. But Lord knows they ain't going to apologize for themselves. I am not black. I'm going to say this one more damn time. Congratulations, you found love outside of your own race. That does not make you special. The lovings blazed a trail so the show silly ass can be standing in a motherfucking cotton field with a white woman. This is unnecessary, gentlemen. Unfucking necessary. You are not special. And for you to do, let me go ahead and play into a stereotype because I've got myself a white girl or I've got myself a white guy. You are disrespecting the rest of us. So you got a girl. So you're getting married. Slave motif, cotton, have some fucking self-respect about your shit. God damn. Get out of that shit, you embarrassing us. When did you first hear about critical race theory? Mm, sometime around last year. Where'd you Second Google search. Second one down from a Google search. This is what critical race theory is. Does this look like we're teaching this to elementary schools, high schools, junior highs, kindergartners? You think preschoolers are learning their ABCs in critical race theory? Take a look at it. Since you want to stand there and pose, take a good look. 
Second one down. So you and this black mother who just learned about the fucking words critical th race theory a few weeks ago look mad fucking stupid. Whose fucking mans is this? Somebody come get him. <sighs> hey there, Dragon Slayer. Let's talk about CRT that was created by Derek Bell. Mouse. Somebody's talking like they got Jim Henson's fist crammed up their ass. Oh, wow. CRT is garbage. Why? Can you give an argument that doesn't involve children? Do you need to know what CRT is? You mean this? The 40-year-old talking about race and laws? You dickheads have absolutely no fucking idea what you're talking about. And y'all look mad fucking stupid when you run up there talking about how something's being taught to your children when it isn't. When it's been a college level course for over 40 years. But please, oh ye a puppet on your fucking hand, tell me why it's garbage. I'll be waiting. The little woke, snowflake, bitch ass motherfuckers. If you look up in a dictionary, a culture vulture with no relevance, Kid Rock's picture will pop the fuck up. Uh, a rich man's kid who tried to play poor hip hop artist, but he sucked at it. So then he became a fucking rock and rap and rock and roller, a fucking redneck from Detroit of all goddamn places. Who wants to talk about his fucking relevancy? Motherfucker, we can't cancel something nobody fucking asked for. You are an Amazon with you are an Amazon order that nobody asked for. You just sitting on a relevancy table. Now you want to talk about. Uh, bitch ass snowflake this that and the third don't you have members of your own fucking band that have covid right now shouldn't you be worrying about that shouldn't you bomb to the dumb to take your dumb ass over there some fucking where and worry about your band instead of doing this stupid shit man if you don't sit your weird ass the fuck down somewhere and shut the fuck up gazebo having motherfucker fuck you man take that goddamn vest off and shut the fuck up Go play with your children, man. God damn. This is why the History Channel should be banned. Because they didn't, that shit didn't gas your motherfuckers' heads to ready. Oh, I'm going to be shooting and you're going to be pointing in level five. What the fuck is level five? Y'all are never ready to just put on a dad hat and go play with your kids and grab your wife's booty, but you're always ready to I'm ready to be Rambo. Rambo was a fictional motherfucking character. God damn. Some people got lives, B. Ain't nobody got time for this. I'm ready to kill because of America. Man, whose goddamn mans is this, man? Take that fucking vest off and go shave your face, dick. Funny how they can recognize George Floyd, but won't go recognize 13 people that actually went and fought for First off, stupid ass hairstyle, George Floyd could have been you. So get off his nuts. And as a veteran, as a former soldier, and a person who actually served in Afghanistan, we didn't ask for your fucking, we did not ask for your fucking defense. We didn't need it, we don't want it, and you can shut the fuck up now. I am so sick to fucking death of you armchair motherfucking patriots talking shit about some shit y'all don't know a motherfucking thing about. You recognize the 13 service members that died here recently. Did you know that service members died last year and the year before that and the year before that in the same fucking place? Of course your punk ass didn't. So do me and every other fucking veteran a goddamn favor. Get off our nuts. You can't be us, so you want to talk for us when we didn't fucking ask you to. Go sh do something with your fucking hair and shut the fuck up and stop talking for us. Why can't I smell that sex from here? Oh, God. Uh, whole trailer gonna smell like hot meth, <laughs> hot mayonnaise, <laughs> hot menthol skull. <laughs> y'all gonna be doing it in a missionary position because y'all both Republicans. <laughs> she gonna be yelling out, MAGA, MAGA, every time she get off. <laughs> oh, my God. Swapping venereal disease. <laughs> She's trading you herpes, you trading her syphilis. <laughs> Oh, God. Our summer teeth are going to be out. Some are here. Some are in the park a lot. Most are not in her mouth. <laughs> and y'all going to be coughing COVID on each other. Oh, God. 
She gonna be confident in your face. She gonna be confident in hers. <laughs> oh God. And then the, the, the body odor's gonna just stink because you don't wash and she don't want Jesus. <laughs> You know, I have avoided saying anything about you. I watched your last little dumbass video and I just avoided it because I didn't think it was worth my time. I've watched as other well-versed people on this particular app just rode the dog shit out of you. Then you made this one. Now I figured I could, might as well go ahead and get my licks in. So you like conquered tears, huh? Would that include the conquered tears of your father's uh, little swimmers? Cause you know, you didn't hit the egg on purpose. You had no purpose to begin with. Your father and his three inches of blue steel conquered your mom's womb and you puttered out. And that was the beginning of your conquering. Cause I'm pretty sure from what, kindergarten to, let's go ahead and say ninth grade. The bullies conquered your ass every fucking chance they got. Conquered your lunch money, conquered your lunch, conquered your book bag, conquered those shoes that you had on your fucking feet. You know, conquered your nose when you talk too much. Um, when you tried to stand up to them, they politely conquered your jaw meat. You had a whole life of, why don't they like me? Because you look like a tremendous douche. And that lasted until high school where you thought you were a big guy. You're probably the dude that crushed cans against your head after drinking them, even though it was a Diet Coke because your punk ass couldn't drink before then. You look like the sort of person that daddy had to conquer your fucking school grades because there's no fucking way in hell you would have passed college on your own. Not without daddy's money conquering the way, wouldn't it? And then you made a video about how African-Americans haven't visited uh, Africa. Most African Americans haven't visited Africa. You know who has visited Africa, at least in her dreams? Your girlfriend. You didn't notice how that, <laughs> after you made your little punk ass joke? Yeah, buddy. She has dreamt about and made some made some trips to the dark side. Because you know, we, has, we give out orgasms and cookies over here. She's just with you because of pity or you know, you're trying to make a name for yourself. You're probably one of those struggling ass comedians that eat a whole lot of ramen and talk about you're finding yourself. And I noticed you will make these fucking jokes on an app because I never, I would never see a guy like you going out in the world where people actually have to stand up next to each other and say shit like this. Because then you'd have another problem. All the people, native and indigenous people, Mexican and Hispanic people, black people, African-Americans conquering your damn jaw meat. Oh, you'd make visits to the hospital and they would make visits to your wallet. Just be the douchebaggery human being that you truly are and accept it. You make these jokes because deep down, you straight puss eye. I actually am 1.4% Nigerian African. I'm a sister. The only way your ass is any part Nigerian is if he forgot to pull out. If you don't sit your fucking ass down, you alabaster motherfucker. You know, it would be easier if people learn how to leave well enough the fuck alone. And this motherfucker made himself spectacular by fucking up the greatest film of all time, in my honest opinion. Whose mans is this? I... You can't wear that makeup and talk the shit that you're talking. Because the Joker is all about anarchy. He's not about history. He doesn't give a fuck about history. But hold on a second. What Grief Ledger here failed to fucking realize is that you can't have it both motherfucking ways. You want to talk about the Democratic Party, the party of the Confederacy. <laughs> then take all them goddamn statues down. Y'all hate Democrats today. And you also hate history. Y'all don't want to talk about that. So take the fucking statues down. Stop honoring Democrats. Oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to blow the top off a of stone mountain. Don't want to knock down any of those goddamn statues. Okay, then you can stop telling us that the Democrats started for the fucking bar. You can stop now. <laughs> Completely. 
Because you can't stand on both sides of the motherfucking fence and expect anybody to give two flying fucks about your fucking opinion. When you're hop, dan fence hopping like that, you lose the fucking argument. Because now you sound like a whiny bitch. Not this introduce a little anarchy. That's what you sound like. You don't get a chance to, well, the Democrats started slavery. Okay, knock them fucking statues down. Oh, no, it's history, not hate. You don't get to do that. You don't. You need to pick a side. Pick a motherfucking side. If you want to stand with those Confederate fucking soldiers and talk about that's history, then goddammit, you're going to own all the fucking history. Good and goddamn bad. You want to remind us that the Democratic Party started the, the Confederacy and that you don't like Democrats because of it? Okay, then take them fucking statues down. I don't want to put them in a museum. Melt them the fuck down and create statues of living human beings that actually done something. But don't try to, I'm going to hop over the fence. I'm going to hop over the fence. And one more thing. It's mad disrespectful that you would disrespect Oscar winner Heath Ledger from the greatest film of all time, The Dark Knight, with this fake-ass $5 worth of fucking Dollar Tree fucking uh, cosplay that you're doing. You should stop it. So I watched this potato head goober sit around and give out a fucking dissertation on possession is nine-tenths of the law and why babies, uteruses, this, that, and the third, and once a man does this, that, and the third. Okay, I have tried to be very diplomatic about this whole idea of a woman's body is her own and what it what she does with it is her own fucking choice. But now I'm going to be a little bit more graphic. So hold on a second. Some of you fucking knuckle dragon troglodytes seem to believe that the thing between your legs is the greatest thing ever. I don't know who the fuck told you that, but understand something. You will need a woman before she needs you. Your shit ain't special, bruh. It's not. It's not the end all to be all. It didn't come with a little Superman cape. The music from Man of Steel is not playing every time you pull it out of your fucking pants. Women trip over those motherfuckers on the way to fucking work. They are a dime a dozen. So you can sit up and do this possession is man to the law. Shit all the fuck you want. Watch how the... Oh, that's just a panty dropper right there, boy. Woo! The women just gonna run after you. The fuck they are. Okay? The fuck they are. Some of you motherfuckers have got it in your damn head that women need you, and they don't. They fucking don't. If all the women in the world decided to look at you troglodyte, knuckle-dragging, he-man-ass motherfuckers and go, fuck this shit, I'm out, then what the fuck are you going to do? Take it? Nah. Now your ass is motherfucking Matt Lauer, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, ain't you? On some Harvey Weinstein then, then right? A woman does not give a fuck about your money. She didn't give a fuck about your, how big your muscles are, how righteous your anger is, how down for the sisters you are. They don't give a fuck. If you're talking that fucking man superior, woman inferior bullshit, the, the shit is dry, buddy. It's a desert. And she will find somebody who will appreciate her more. Because like I just said, jank is a dime a dozen. Y'all better stop thinking y'all shit is special because it ain't. It fucking isn't. And the more shit you talk about a woman, the more you are making her want to go find somebody else who won't. Because we're all out there ready to compliment her, ready to tell her, girl, it's your body, it's your choice. Ready to, you know, rub her hair, rub her feet, treat her like a queen. And then all of us become Dexter St. Jock. Meanwhile, your ass is over here, hand, lo hand full of motherfucking lotion. Your favorite website is on the motherfucking computer. And your ass lonely as shit, crying, using that as lubrication. Y'all better stop. Y'all better fucking stop. Your shit is not that goddamn special. It's not that fucking important. And I'm telling you, trying to lawyer up some shit about a woman's uterus will make goddamn sure you never see the inside of one in this life or the next. Wish we could turn back time. You are flaccid foreskin cut off and discarded the only thing you would have ever colonized throughout history is that t-shirt and much like that wrinkled plain ordinary white t-shirt you serve no purpose other than to cover the rich men throughout history 
would have used you as cannon fodder. You would have either died of dysentery, died from a musket ball, died with an arrow or a spear through your throat, or just been ran over by the opposing army. And you're spreading your mediocrity to that baby, which did nothing to you in life. Thousands of gay people can't adopt because Jesus and his idiots run around here spreading his mediocrity to that innocent baby. You wouldn't have colonized anything. You would have drowned or died at sea. Shut up. What the Still hasn't been vaccinated. Me. <laughs> you get these jokes? You get these jokes? I didn't look like Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor as Cleopatra if she worked the third shift at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> why, why are your eyebrows shaped like Christopher Lee's teeth of Dracula? <laughs> You got some other ones drawn at the bottom so it look like from your forehead down it's just one big jaw. Damn a vaccine if you've been inoculated for rabies. Forehead turning into a werewolf. And it's, what is it, the full moon? You look like what would happen if they shaved a Siamese cat of all of his fur and just left his eyebrows. Every time you blink, I was afraid I was going to turn into a night walker. <laughs> oh, stop. So I want you guys to wait for the end of this video because there's a surprise. Notice how they've cautioned. Over 700,000 Americans have died from this COVID business and you're still talking about it as if, as if it's a hoax. Um, you don't have to believe in COVID, but it does believe in you. Secondly, you did a gotcha video where you showed how they taped off an entire jungle gym, but oh, there's a homeless person sleeping in it. So, and you call that an opportunity. So you're not mad that the homeless man is sleeping in a jungle gym. You're not mad that the homeless man is sleeping on the streets in the first place. You're just mad because your kid can't play in the jungle gym and the homeless guy is in there. You know, if I believed in a heaven or a hell, I would ask you, how much does Satan pay you for your soul? I genuinely want to know. What was the price tag on your soul? Because whatever it is, he overpaid for it. I think more trans people should be like Michelle Obama. You see, she never mentioned that she's trans. She just became a woman. Look, ladies and gentlemen, a box of Legos wanted to be a real boy. Y'all need to get off Michelle's ovaries. Truly, y'all need to. Because that woman is living rent-free in, in your fucking heads with this, she's a man shit. And ain't no motherfucking way your granite chin ass even decided to say anything, oh, America dad looking motherfucker. You got a lot of fucking nerve. A lot of nerve. You look like a Minecraft doll that came to life and put a fucking wig or a toupee on their head. You have problems, my friend. Get off that woman's ass. She's more intelligent than that fucking perpetual Barbie doll that we had as a fucking first lady for four years. Shut the fuck up. Biden, you a bitch. Biden, you a bitch. Everybody knows it. First off, trying to make money off of the current fuck Biden, fuck Trump trend. Yeah. No. It's not. That's not gangster. It's not. Number two. I know your ass heard for the last two years of Donald Trump's presidency. Fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah, fuck Donald Trump, which is basically like a party anthem. You thought, I'll make one of those. Buy new beer, buy new beer. No. They don't compare. They just don't. And thirdly, you made a shitty song, man. Ain't nobody bumping that. Ain't nobody bumping that in their car. Ain't nobody bumping that in their house. That will not get the, that's not going to get people on the dance floor in a club. It sucked. So the grade on this song is ass. Whole wheat toasted buns. Your song sucks. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my phone, baby. Let's just get one fucking thing straight right the fuck now. This woman has ran a cult. She has targeted vulnerable plus size women, black women. She has made them harm themselves. She has made them give up their money to her. And now, now, 
she's revealing herself to also be a pedophile, pedo, whatever you want to call it. She should have been locked up months ago. Months ago. She just revealed exactly who the fuck she truly is. I'm telling y'all right now, this woman needs to go to jail. Like time fucking now. Being black is a fact, don't get too attached. You and rats is a fact. Your ass is as white as Xerox paper. There is a fact. Your eyebrows look like the St. Louis arch. There is a fact. Blackface ain't cool. We've been fucking telling y'all this shit for years. There is a fact. You know, Neil Brennan said on Halloween that somebody was planning to put on an outfit that's going to fuck up the rest of their lives. Well, apparently, people still believe that November 2nd is Halloween times three because we got this dumb motherfucker walking around with this stupid shit. Can you please possibly be happy in your mayonnaise mediocrity and stop doing goofy shit to get fucking attention? God damn. Y'all motherfuckers are acting like this is some sort of a shocking thing when we tell you take that shit off your motherfucking face. Your ass is white as snow, Goofy. Be fucking happy with that. We have a bit of a quandary here, my uh, bearded libertarian friend. Either it was wrong when LeBron James heard it and therefore it's wrong when I said it to Mr. Lead Singer of Trapped in the Closet or it was right when LeBron heard it and therefore it's right when I tell this idiot the same fucking thing. Let's talk. So, before we go further, please let me make sure I help you understand something. This is a man, the guy that you're fighting for who believes it is perfectly okay for 15-year-old boys to have sex with grown-ass women because it happened for, to him, therefore being an advocate for pedophilia. Please keep that in mind. So, we got a quandary here. So was it wrong for me to tell this man to shut the fuck up and sing? Then you were acknowledging that it was wrong for LeBron James, Colin Kaepernick, and other black athletes to be told to shut up and dribble or shut up and play football. Or are you saying that it was perfectly right for these men to be told to sh LeBron James, Colin Kaepernick, and other uh, black athletes to be told to shut up and dribble and shut up and play football? Therefore, it would make it perfectly okay for me to tell this idiot who, let me make sure I say this again, believes it is perfectly okay for a 15-year-old boy to have sex with a grown-ass woman because it happened to him, therefore being an advocate for pedophilia. It was perfectly okay for me to tell him to shut the fuck up and sing. Y'all make things political. We don't. Which is why, why didn't you leave the Republican Party? You basically are just hipster Republicans. You know that. Libertarians in 2021. That's exactly what y'all are. Y'all don't like the stink of Republicanism, but you like to have the greasy, slick back hair and a beard and a, and a pipe. Why don't you just stay a Republican? You're not going to sit up and try to equate black athletes standing up for the rights of people not to be killed by fucking police officers whose tax, who our tax dollars pay for their salary to a group of people who believe that Donald Trump is going to ride back in on a magical fucking winged unicorn with John F. Kennedy Jr. as his vice president. They're not the same, fam. They're not the same neighborhood. They're not the same game. They're not even in the same fucking zip code. But if you want to stand in this argument, that I was completely wrong about telling this man to shut the fuck up and sing, then you also have to be in agreement when I say that it was perfectly wrong for LeBron James, Colin Kaepernick, and other black athletes to be told to shut up and dribble and shut up and play football. And make, let me make sure I say this one more time. You are making this argument for a man who believes that it is perfectly okay for 15-year-old boys to have sex with grown-ass women because it happened to him, therefore being an advocate for pedophilia. There was a damn new episode of Young Justice on that I should be watching. Instead, I gotta address this fucking idiot. Okay, common sense Asian. Come get this work. I'm gonna address your first video, the first one that I saw where you were talking about crazy lefties. Excuse me while I have my coffee, because I didn't even get my cup this time. You said that if a man rapes a woman and that woman has a baby, should that baby go to prison? Sins of the father should be... The fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? You have lost, fell, and bumped your motherfucking head. 
If a man rapes a woman, his ass should be buried under a jail. The child ain't got a damn thing to do with this. That, that one, I had to literally go out to the source wall and ask the fucking uh, Yuga Khan, who is the father of Darkseid, could he explain this shit to me? And Yuga Khan looked at me and said, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. The source wall is at the end of the universe. That's how far away I had to go to find out what the fuck you were trying to talk about. Bruh, you should have deleted that video. Again, why, why are y'all not using y'all draft folder? That's where stupid shit ass videos like that should come. I didn't even listen to the rest of it. After you said that shit, I was like, bruh, I, I had to go clean my ears from the blood coming out of them. That's the first video with your stupid ass. Then you want to talk about, well, what is BLM doing? Hey, BLM, uh, you want to talk about Black Lives Matter? What have you done? Motherfucker, the fact that your ass is even bringing them up in a conversation shows exactly what they did. Police violence against African Americans has been going on since almost the founding of the Republic. All the way back when they were slave catchers. Police violence is actually one of the things that started both the Watts riots in 1965. And the L.A. riots in the 90s. So when Black Lives Matter started talking about these things, they were showing you the historical precedent of what uh, violence happens to black people at the hands of the police, and now your ass actually has an opinion about it. So they did exactly what the fuck they were supposed to do. They put up a conversation you weren't ready to have. Now, I understand you want to be that model minority myth even though Asian Americans have been fighting that shit like forever. And that's perfectly fine. Be that motherfucking trope. Like I keep telling people, Kunisia does not spare anyone. Everybody can live there. Especially people who are trying to kiss up to the fucking white patriarchal fucking society with your ignorant ass. And we're telling you that that isn't healthy. Well, you need to constantly flaunt around your fatness. Sir, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I got a question. Why is the roof sinking in? Well, you want to talk about women's sizes and flaunting their quote-unquote fatness, your motherfucking roof's about to fall in. Why are you flaunting that shitty-ass crack house? Why are you in the trap trailer? What the fuck is this? Did your meth lab blow the fuck up? Why in the fuck would you come on here trying to fucking talk about anybody's size when your life is old for eternity, the fuck are you talking about? Your shit look like twi like a, a actual tornado twister, but fucked your house. And you got the nerve to be talking about somebody's weight? Man, you better shut the fuck up and fix that roof before it fall in on your dumb ass. Players! <laughs> you don't have the class to sniff Double D Mother's bra or her panties. My sister does the news. She brings it to you straight, no chaser, with nothing but facts. And she talks shit about Lauren Bobblehead Bobert and that dumbass dress with that stupid ass code that you motherfuckers have adopted rather than saying fuck Joe Biden. And then you brought your three day smoker breath the fuck over here to fuck with her. She doesn't have to come down to your level. That's where I live. So I'm gonna need you to climb your ass back into that spit bottle or go find that can of uncooked beans that you was eating with that rusty fork, hop your ass back on the train and take your hobo ass wherever the fuck it is. Your entire life looks like a condemned building. Get the fuck out of here.